morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be at. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be at. The masculine male. The masculine male. The feminine women. The feminine woman. The masculine male. The masculine men, the feminine women. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, I'm just going off of what Google says, right? I'm going off some of the things that Google says, and I'll also give my own input on uh, some of these terms or definitions that I feel uh, that portrays a masculine male uh, and a, a woman in her feminine energy, her feminine role. First and foremost, uh, I feel that a, a masculine male uh, should have some level of independency. Uh, a masculine male should be in a position to where uh, he is not needing any financial assistance from any outsiders. His mother, his father, his brothers, uh, but most importantly his partner. Uh, an independent man is able to provide without very little uh, to any um, obstacles, right? He is able to provide without having to uh, sacrifice his time and effort into, you know, looking for other financial opportunities, looking for a second job, uh, hustling stocks, uh, crypto, whatever the case may be. A masculine man is able to independently, financially provide for itself, which leaves room for that masculine male to uh, financially provide assistance to a female uh, based on his masculinity uh, and how much he is able to financially provide. A masculine male uh, should be a protector. Uh, a masculine male should be able to protect you from all things that could hurt you uh, and also able to protect himself from all things that may be you know of negative to him as well uh, a, a protector it's kind of a broad statement uh, a masculine male should be able to protect you from the dangers that come into your life uh, if there's a dog running up on you uh, you would expect that masculine male to you know give it the NFL boot you know punt it you know protect you from that uh, the masculine male is supposed to protect you from things that may hurt you. Uh, the masculine male is, let's say it's raining outside. You know, I have a coat, you don't. I expect the masculine male to give you that coat. I, if we're going through a shopping center, I expect that masculine male to, you know, buy you a, uh, excuse me, buy you a raincoat, buy you an umbrella, protect you from the rain, protect you from the storm. Uh, but I also feel that the masculine male uh, should also protect you from those around you. Because sometimes those around you are the biggest negative impact. Sometimes the people around us uh, negatively influence our lives. And sometimes it takes an outsider uh, who doesn't know us, who didn't know us six months ago, a year ago, to come into your life and understand your life, understand your friends, understand your family. So that person can therefore understand who is the best fit for you. That's a masculine male. Uh, he's going to protect you from snow, rain, anything out to hurt you, uh, which includes family. Uh, a masculine male should provide. Uh, I have always been a provider, as I've spoke about in previous videos. That is just me. I've also uh, feel like that is something that, that a man should do, provide. Uh, do I feel like a man should be able to pay all 100% of a woman's bills and rent? I don't know, you know. Uh, I feel if I get to the point where I need to pay 100% of something, we need to live together. You know, if I'm paying 100% of my bills and my rent, uh, should I pay 100% of yours? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we need to live together. But with that being said, I have. I've done it. I paid my bills and my rent. Now, I've also 100% paid for another woman's bills and rent when she didn't work whatsoever. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I feel like a woman in a feminine energy uh, should listen. 
Uh, and I'm not saying the masculine male tells the woman to jump off the, the cliff and she, hey, I'm going to jump. Uh, but I feel like a woman should listen. I, I feel like a woman should be open uh, to change. A woman should be open to guidance. A woman should be o open for teaching. Uh, because let's be honest, uh, a, a man uh, that is older than a woman, I'll say that, uh, has lived more life on earth, therefore made more mistakes. He might have been through a little bit more. He might have understood why, hey, da da da, we can handle these bills this way. He may have understood why, hey, let's do this for the groceries. He may have understood why, hey, da da da. Don't have money for gas. He may understood why. Hey, okay, we maybe we can skip the hair and nail appointment this week. He may understood why uh, friends of this or friends of that. He may have understood some of the situations that you've gone through as a woman, right? Cause let me be honest with you. I've had friends that I I grew up with. You know, we hung out together every day. We got on a school bus together. We we you know sat beside each other on a school bus. Uh, and we hung out after school. Uh, I've had friends that, childhood friends, that when I started getting into adult, adulthood, I had to let go. I had to stop talking to. I had to stop calling. I had to stop texting. I had to talk, stop responding because I realized that those friends were no good for me. I realized if I started to continue to hang out with those friends, I might be in jail. I realized if I started to continue to hang out with those friends, I might be selling drugs. I realized if I started continuing to hang out with those friends, I might be a drug addict. Uh, but we have to realize, even with relationships that we've had for years, that not everyone that is around us is good for us. And not everyone that's around us is good for us. And a lot of us are holding on to the relationships. We're holding on to relationships based on the time We've known someone and not the number of times they've been there for us. <laughs> that was deep. Yeah, I know. All right, so let's get into some of the uh, Google definition of feminine energy, right? Feminine characteristics. And one of them is dependent. Dependent. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Dependent. Here's the problem that I have with a lot of you young ladies, a lot of you women out there. I'm lying. Here's the problem that I have with some of you young ladies. Here's the problem that I have with some of you uh, women out there. Some of you women want to be <laughs> dependent. Some of you women say you don't need a man financially. Some of you women want to do it on your own. You there are a man. You are acting like a man. You are picking up the traits and the characteristics of a man. Are you a man or are you a woman? Do you want to play the man role or do you want to play the woman's role? Make up your mind. Because a woman in her true feminine energy is going to be dependent on a man. A woman in her true feminine energy is going to be dependent on a man. And I'm not saying all dependent is based on uh, finances. No, but it plays a part. It plays a part. Let that man help you. Let that man help you. It says dependent. Guess what it also says? Guess what it also says? Non-competitive. It says it. Non-competitive. Non-uncompetitive. Un That's what it says. Uncompetitive. Guess what it also says? Passive. Listen, you can't be misindependent and angry and aggression and upset and peed off every day. That's not the characteristics of a feminine woman. But you know what? A lot of the reasons why some of you women are upset, some of you women have anger, some of you women get mad easily, is because of you want to be so independent. When Google and some of these definitions says the feminine women should be dependent. A lot of you women are upset, and I've gone through it myself, 
women going through it at work. She's going through it with her family. She's going through it with her friends. Finances, she's struggling. She's struggling to take care of a child. She's not making the ends meet the way she wants to. She don't have enough money uh, 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 saved. Uh, she's not uh, taking home a lot of money after she gets paid and pays all these bills. That causes stress. I know that causes stress. You know that causes stress. Finances are a big part of the stresses in our life. If you go to a store and you can't buy something, it causes stress. If you go to McDonald's and your car's decline, it causes stress. But a lot, of, a lot of the stresses that a lot of you women have is because you don't want to be passive. A lot of the stresses that a lot of you women have is because you don't want to be dependent. If and when you want to truly get inside of your feminine energy, you're going to have to let a man guide you, let a man lead you, and most importantly, let a man help you. If I have the financial capabilities, the mental capabilities, the psychological capabilities to help you and to make you a better person, why shouldn't you listen? I hate when women say, oh, you're not a good leader. Okay, I can pay your bills. I can offer to put you in college. I can get your hair and your nails done. I can offer to get you a car. I can offer to get you a bigger apartment. Should I keep going? I can take you shopping. I give you advice. You call me 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. You need help. I'm there for you. But I'm not a good leader. I'm going to tell you, I told this woman one time, not long ago, I said, every time you called me, I said yes. She's called me late at night. Oh, da 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 I need an Uber home. I do it. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I should do it. I should do it. But the problem that a lot of you women have is you don't, you don't know if you want to wake up and be in your... Male character, you don't know if you want to wake up and be in your female character. If you, Women, if you find a man that is able to be a masculine man, and don't get me wrong, let's say the list for being a masculine man, a masculine man is a, a hundred, a hundred pages. If he gets 50 or 60 or 65, he's trying. Let's say it's a hundred pages and he's at 65, next week he might be at 66. The week after next, he might be at 67, but a trying man is a man you shouldn't give up on. We're going to repeat that. A trying man is a man you should not give up on. All I'm saying is men continue to play that masculine role, continue to be independent, continue to, to, to show these women or even show yourself uh, that you are a man of high value. But women, stop. You, you know who I'm talking to. Stop playing the role of a man and a woman. Everyone needs help, some level of help in their life. Let's be honest. Some people need it more than others, but everyone needs some level of help in their life. Some level. Let that man help you. If you want to be Miss Independent, you're a man. If you say you don't need a man, you're a liar. So are you a man and a liar? You're a lying man? Pick one. Pick one. Masculine energy, feminine energy. Women, be submissive. And I'm not saying when that man comes home, uh, uh, untie his shoes and give him a foot massage. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying every time he comes home, run him bath water or uh, scrub his back. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying, women, is when a man gives you some advice, his opinion, his suggestion, be open to listen. When a man tells you something, be open to consider. And I'm not saying everything a man says is going to be right. I'm not saying that uh, every opinion and suggestion that a man says, you should go with it. You can at least listen to it. You can at least think about it. Women, figure out whether you, in 2024, whether you want to be a man or a woman. You want to be the masculine energy or the feminine energy. Figure it out now. Because no man wants to get into a relationship 
with a woman who's showing the characteristics of a man. I'm going to repeat that. No man wants to get into a relationship with a woman who's showing the characteristics of a man. If you want to show the characteristics of a man, woman, find you a girlfriend. Some of y'all probably already have some on the low, but understand your responsibilities uh, from a feminine and a masculine role uh, or even a religious and biblical role. Until next time.